morning guys Today is Saturday 31st August 2019 Currently in uh, Hong Kong Not sure what I'm gonna do today But there are a couple of places of interest that I wanna go I have a lot of time today Got basically the whole day and the whole of tomorrow To go around Hong Kong and see what he has to offer So most afternoon here in uh, Kowloon First I'm gonna head to a place of interest of mine Probably Zaz too He likes to explore overseas monsters So we're gonna go to Kowloon Boss Oh my god guys, there's actually a Lego store here And I'm gonna go check it out I actually love Lego by the way Hong Kong Lego culture is much more bigger than Singapore I'm gonna go and check this out man this hi no cameras allowed is it okay. it's okay is it it's okay. thank you oh man look at this yeah the cafe corner <laughs> cafe corner is this one some of these sets are no longer being made and this is the Lego city space team recently came out this year This is the model buildings, a staple for any Lego city. This is the town hall, the fire station, and the taxi's office. All these sets are no longer being made. And this is amazing. They have the upsized version of the roller coaster set. This was probably two or three sets combined together. I wish they turned this on though, so we can see the mechanics of this ride and they even have the model of the Ninjago City probably all the sets combined together The architecture series that replicates that miniaturize most of the famous landmarks around the world Marina Bay Sands Singapore is famous for it Some Chinese team sets here I mean, we are in Hong Kong There's more upstairs. Yep, that's right. Oh, thank you. No I'm gonna have a look upstairs. Oh man! Small galleries upstairs and look at this. Look at what I'm greeted to. Harry Potter's Hogwarts Castle. The full set itself. Oh man. The Death Star in Star Wars. Oh, I have no idea how big it is, you know, it's really big. The Millennium Falcon 2, I saw it online and I thought it's, you know, half the size, but it's actually damn big. Some Lego Batman movie here. A lot of uh, minifigs right behind me over here. And a miniature version of the Millennium Falcon. It's quite big too. And all the Star Wars stuff. And a little pick a brick section over here. So I better make a move now. Um, it's almost 12 o'clock. <laughs> I have to say that uh, this place is a dream for Lego lovers, myself and my friend. But I think we get a kick out of this. Third floor is mostly to the uh, team stuff while downstairs. Second floor more to the Lego City theme. But otherwise, it's a lost uh, dream to be here. Okay, I'm gonna get a move on now.
equipment. As a prudent measure, signing from station will be closed and trains will not stop at signing from station, starting from 1.30 until further notice, in order to ensure the safety of passengers and our staff. Seems that something will be happening over there. Uh, not sure, but the cops are right behind me right now. Right here in uh, Team Sa Choi. Then you listen for Chim Sa Choi. This is probably a perfect place for Muslims like myself to go to. There's a couple of halal restaurants here. There's even a mosque that you can pray here. The Kowloon Mosque has a history since 1896. The current building at 105 Nathan Road was completed in 1984 to replace the old building, which was damaged in the 1970s due to construction work for the MTR station. The mosque can accommodate 3,500 worshippers and primarily serve migrant Muslims from South Asia and Indonesia. So apparently the main prayer hall itself is uh, located on the third floor. The second floor is the uh, madrasa and the first floor I think is just the normal hall. Uh. right behind me. I'm gonna go and eat. Hi, what do you have? We have here you can see menu. I think I'll, think I'll take this uh, chicken donut with chips. Chicken chips. Uh, yeah. Drink. What drink you have? It's a very hot day in Hong Kong today. I'm literally sweating just by walking. Anyway, it just finished raining and it's expected it will be hot after that lah. Especially in the tropical climates like this. It's kind of like the same in Singapore too. Thank you. This is a chicken donor with rice. Um, Turkish inspired. Have a look. Little stress of chicken, uh, vegetables, the rice, tomatoes. So we can try. Feels like a really a kebab kind of dish. Turkish and Greek inspired as usual. Okay lah. Something to fill the stomach. Something for breakfast and lunch. Okay, meal at the kebab house. I don't know where to go from here. Have a look, see, look, see, walk around. Maybe Google to suggest a good place for me. Next episode. There are no signs of uh, any protests here, but the staff are still preparing to close the station. <laughs>